بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you my students? I hope that you're happy and healthy and ready for today's uh, lesson which is the enrichment So today we'll be taking the unit 1 uh, grammar listen uh, the objectives for today to explain the reason for using infinitive or gerund so we'll be taking gerunds and infinitives use the gerund after the correct verbs use the infinitive after the correct verbs rewrite a sentence using gerund or infinitive write a sentence according to a picture so we'll be seeing some pictures then we'll be writing sentences about them Choose the correct verb for a sentence. Use gerunds after verbs. Use infinitives after verbs. So let's jump to the lesson here. Of course, you are familiar with the ing form of verbs with the uh, progressive verbs. Coming, going, sleeping, studying, and so on. Of course, you are familiar with the ing connected to the verbs in the progressive form. The ing form can also be used as a noun. It's not necessarily a verb. It can be used also as a noun. When an ing form is used as a noun, it is called a gerund. So when the verb in the ing form is used as a noun, it's used as a noun, this is called a gerund. For example here, we're eating more organic fruits now. So we're eating more organic fruits now. I prefer eating organic foods. Again, we're eating more uh, organic fruits now. I prefer eating organic food. The first sentence, eating, is part of the present progressive verb, are eating. So the first one is a verb. We're eating more. This is explaining what you are doing now. So this is a verb. We're eating more organic fruits now. The first sentence, eating, is part of the present progressive verb are eating. In the second sentence, I prefer eating organic foods. Eating is used as a noun. I prefer eating organic foods. So eating here is a noun, not a verb, because nothing is happening here. It answers the question what. It answers the question what after the verb prefer. So after the verb prefer. So prefer eating. So let's jump to the grammar itself now. Gerunds after verbs. Gerunds, the ing form, after verbs. So gerunds are the ing form of a verb. They act like nouns. So they are not nouns in their self. They act like nouns and answer the question, what? For example here, I recommend turning off the lights when, uh, when you leave the room. So I recommend, this is the verb here, I recommend turning off, this is the gerund here, the lights when you leave the room. Our class enjoys learning about ways to help the environment. So our class enjoys, this is the verb here, this is the verb here, enjoys, our class enjoys learning. So this is the verb here, enjoys, and this is the gerund with the ing here, enjoys about ways to help the environment. So we can use gerunds after certain verbs such as, so all of these are just examples and not the whole verbs such as advice, begin, can't stand, consider, continue, enjoy, finish, go, hate, imagine, intend, keep, like, love, prefer, quit, recommend, start, stop, and suggest. So all of these verbs come before the gerund, or you can say the gerund come after these verbs. You, you can say, I enjoy playing, I intend going, I quit smoking, and so on. Infinitives after verbs. If you remember the infinitive, an infinitive is two plus the base form of the verb. So remember the infinitive, which is two parts. Two, then the base form of the verb. Like gerunds, infinitives also act like nouns and answer the question, what? For example here, don't forget to reuse the plastic container. Or do they intend to buy a hybrid Car. So the verbs here, forget and intend, came before the infinitive to reuse or to buy a hybrid car. So we use infinitives after certain verbs, just like the gerund, such as agree, ask, attempt, begin, can't stand, continue, decide, expect, forget, hate, intend, 
learn, like, love, need, offer, plan, prefer, promise, remember, start, try, and want. Of course, you can notice that there are some verbs here that uh, they are in the gerund also. So you can choose, for example, like love, uh, like, hate, uh, uh, intent, and so on. Some verbs are shared with the gerunds or the infinitives. And these marks, these the stars, these verbs can be followed by uh, object, an object before the infinitive. For example, they want to plant a garden. You can put a subject before the infinitive. They want us to plant a garden. So the verbs such as ask, expect, need, want, they, you can put an object before the infinitive. For example, when I say, I want you to go and get me something. So you can put a subject before you say the infinitive. So look at the questionnaire on page 16 to find more uh, examples of infinitives and gerunds. Let's turn to page 16 here and look for example of infinitives and gerunds. If you remember here, they listen and discuss how green are you? How green are you? So uh, try to look for here for infinitives and gerunds. Can you locate them here? Okay, let's see here the first one. Yes, what do you do when you finish using your computer? Finish using. So using here is, of course, a gerund. Other example here. Of course, there are many examples. For example here, I wouldn't consider also using. So finish using and also consider using. Can you, can you get some examples here on the second page here? Can you get some examples here? For example here, for instance, do you prefer eating? What kind of fruits and vegetables do you prefer eating? Of course, also the answer here, I prefer eating fruits. So prefer comes before uh, gerund. Also before the infinitive, prefer to eat. So prefer is one of the, the verbs I was just talking about that is shared between the gerund and the infinitive. You can say prefer eating or you can say prefer to eat fruits or organic uh, fruits. Can you locate some examples here also in this part of the article or questionnaire here? For example, yes, I hate being hot. Hate also is one of the verbs that uh, are shared with gerunds and infinitives. So, I hate being hot. This one is a gerund. Also, yes, do you try to conserve water? Do you try, this is the verb here, to conserve, this is the infinitive of course, water. So, also here, I try to be aware. So, try comes before the uh, infinitive. Also here, I try hard to conserve water. So all of these are examples of gerunds and uh, infinitives. Some verbs can be followed by either an infinitive or a gerund, just as we uh, spoke before. The meaning of the sentence with these verbs is almost the same with either the gerund or infinitive. So they are almost similar in meaning. We can say, for example, either I love studying or I love to study. One slight difference is that the person is more likely is more likely to use the gerund at the moment of doing the activity. So notice here is more likely. So there is no right or wrong here. It's just that using gerund is more likely preferable to use here. Again, one slight difference is that the person is more likely, it's better to use the gerund to use the gerund, the ing form, when? At the moment of doing the activity. If you are at the moment of doing that activity, it's preferable to use the gerund. It's not wrong to use the, uh, the infinitive, but it's better, it's preferable to use the gerund form. Exercise A here. Exercise A, circle the correct, uh, circle the correct verb forms. Sometimes both the gerund and the infinitive are possible. Of course, we know that. So the first one, do you want, so this is the verb, want, do we say having or to have a positive impact on the environment? 
So number one, do you want having or to have? Yes, of course, want comes before the infinitive. Do you want to have a positive impact on the environment? I suggest, so the verb here is suggest these steps a try. So giving, yes, so suggest come before the gerund. Do you hate, so the verb hate here, throwing or to throw away old clothes in the garbage? Number three is very good, both of them. Do you hate throwing or do you hate to throw? Both of them are correct. Away old clothes in the garbage. Consider, what about the verb consider? Do we say consider giving or consider to give clothes? The answer is, yes, the gerund, of course. Consider giving clothes to uh, clothes that no longer fit you to other people who can wear them. Number five, quit to use or using disposable batteries. Quit, yes, using, quit using disposable batteries. Begin, so is it using or to use? Of course, it's both of them because begin comes with both gerund and infinitive. Begin uh, using or to use rechargeable batteries. Number seven here, learn buying or to buy products with less packaging. Learn to buy products with less packaging. Attempt, what about the verb attempt? Does it come with a gerund or infinitive? Attempt buying or attempt to buy large containers of water, juice, and soda instead of individual serving size containers. So number eight is, yes, attempt to buy. So attempt comes with the infinitive. Number nine here, learn. What about the verb learn? Do we say learn avoiding or to avoid or both of them? It's just to avoid the infinitive. Learn to avoid creating trash whenever possible. For example, when ordering food, avoid taking, avoid to take, avoid taking, of course, avoid comes with a gerund, avoid taking any unnecessary utensils and napkins. Number 11, start making, start to make a shopping list before you go shopping. So we choose what? Both of them, because start comes with the gerund and the infinitive. Start making or start to make a shopping list before you go shopping. This will help you stop. Of course, this is an easy one. It's the gerund. Stop buying things you don't need on impulse. Number 13, keep reusing or keep to reuse your supermarket bags. I think this is an easy one also. It's stop reusing. Keep comes with the gerund, of course your supermarket bags. Jumping here to exercise B, answer the questions with a complete sentence, then discuss your answer. Again, answer the questions with complete sentences. So you have to answer these questions with complete sentences, of course, using the gerund or the infinitive. Then discuss your answer. For example, the first one, do you think cars will stop running on gas in the near future? Do you think ga uh, cars will stop running on gas in the near future? They will stop using gas, petrol in the near future? Of course, this is up to you, but you have to answer using uh, today's uh, grammar. So I wrote, yes, I think that in the near future, cars will stop running on gas, will stop running on gas. So number two. Do you think people will begin to change their habits of uh, consumption? Do you think people will begin to change? Begin to change. This is a uh, infinitive here, an infinitive. Their habits of consumption. So yes or no, it's up to you, but you have to answer correctly here. So for example, I've written, yes, I think that people will begin to change their habits of consumption. Number three, what is something you try to do every day to help the environment? What is something you try, this is the verb here, try to do. So this is the infinitive here. Every day to help the environment, something you try to do every day. What is it? For example here, every day I try to remember to recycle trash like bottles and paper bags. This is of course my answer. Every day, every day I try 
to remember to recycle or you can say I try to recycle for example uh, trash like bottles and paper bags number four what is something harmful to the environment that you want to quit doing something that is harmful to the environment that you want to quit so want to quit doing also quit doing here this is uh, uh, a gerund here you want to quit doing so what is something that is harmful to the environment that you want to quit doing anything that you are doing that you want to quit because it is uh, harmful to the environment for me here i wrote i would like to quit driving quit driving here i used the gerund with the verb quit i would like to quit driving long, long distances in my car of course in order to save the uh, environment number five what is something that you often forget to do what is something that you often forget to do again what is something that you often forget to do anything that you forget to do for example I've written here I forget to bring a bag when I go to the grocery store this is about me I forget to bring a bag whenever I go to the grocery store Number six, would you ever consider growing your own vegetable garden? Would you ever consider growing? This is the gerund here, your own vegetable garden. For me, I wrote, yes, I would consider growing my own vegetable garden. Of course, I would like to try that. Number seven, what is something you could stop buying? What is something you could stop buying? So stop, then a gerund. This is, of course, is up to you. What is something that you could stop buying? For me, I could stop buying water in bottles. I could stop buying water in bottles. Number eight, what changes do you hope to see in the environment in the next decade? What changes do you hope to see? So hope here to see with the infinitive in the environment in the next decade. So what is something that you hope to see uh, that changes in the environment in the next decade? decade for example for me i wrote in the next decade i hope to see uh, energy consumption waste and pollution reduced i hope to see them uh, reduced exercise c here rewrite each sentence using the verbs in brackets and gerund or infinitive make any other necessary changes for example here from now on jack is going to use only uh, flower scent light bulbs and the verb is start and the answer was Jack is going to start using only uh, flower scent light bulbs. So again, we have to rewrite the sentence using the verb in brackets and to put it in, with a gerund or an infinitive. Number one, we are going to set the air conditioner on a timer at night and the verb is plan. So rewrite the sentence, come up with a sentence uh, with the same idea using plan here the verb plan and don't forget to use gerund or infinitive so let's check the uh, the first one's answer here we plan to sit so it's an infinitive here we plan to set the air conditioner on a timer at night very good number two i don't really read newspapers i like reading the news online better so there's a preference here i don't really read newspapers I like reading the newspaper. I, I like reading the news online better. And the verb here is prefer. Prefer, is it with a gerund or an infinitive? So let's see the answer here. I prefer reading. I prefer reading the news online to reading a newspaper. Very good. Number three, Arya, think, uh, Arya thinks it's a good idea to print on both sides of the paper. And the verb here is recommend. Recommend, does it come before a gerund or an infinitive? Aria thinks it's a good idea to print on both sides of the paper. So, yes, very good. So, Aria recommends printing. So, recommends come before the gerund. Recommends printing on both sides of the paper. Number four, I can't believe I left the lights on again. And the verb is keep. So, I can't believe very good i can't believe i keep leaving so keep comes before a gerund 
the light on. Number five, gardening is one of my favorite activities. This is an easy one actually, and the verb is enjoy. Do we say I enjoy gardening or I enjoy to garden? Yes, very good. I enjoy gardening. So enjoy comes before a jiran. Number six, we should continue to find ways to use less energy. And the verb here is keep. Yes, this is an easy one also. We should keep finding, jiran here, ways to use less energy. We should keep finding ways to use less energy. Here's a language builder for you with the verb prefer. We often use the structure prefer x to y. So we, we use prefer to. We prefer x to y. For example, I prefer reading to watching TV. I prefer reading to watching TV. I prefer chocolate ice cream to vanilla. In sentences four and six, keep plus uh, verb ing means to continue doing something. So when you say keep going, keep smiling, it means to continue doing this action. For example, I'm going to keep trying until I succeed. So keep trying, it means continue to uh, try. Exercise D here, look at the picture, page 19. Write a paragraph about ways Faisal could change his habits to become more green. Use gerunds and infinitive. For example here, the first one, there are many things that Faisal can do to become more green. First of all, and then you can continue the whole uh, to write about the picture by yourself. And with that, we reach the end of this lesson. See you next lesson, inshallah. Subhanakallah wa bihamdik. Ashadu ala lanta astaghfirka wa tubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum.